So I want to talk about the Nightmare Dungeon changes because I've seen a couple people drop a few comments uh, in my previous video talking about how, well, the ending completion amount of XP that you get is really not that much um, and the changes aren't that significant, which based on my data and I'll be sharing that soon with you in a future video because I've only been able to do 40 or so and some data from other people, we get a massive increase in XP. Now, Let's talk about what actually changed in terms of efficiency. The first thing is pretty obvious. It's straight up just the fact that we can teleport um, to the dungeons. Now you might notice if I choose Onyx Hold here, um, you can see I don't have access to it, which means that I believe Onyx Hold is associated with a stronghold because if I were to go ahead and do, let's say a dungeon, which I don't have access to on the map, um, that I can instantly teleport to. For example, uh, Shiv to Ruins, I just tried. And you can see I don't really have access to the area around here. I was just able to teleport straight there. So you have to have access to the dungeon first off uh, for you alts out there. <laughs> but if you do at least have it unlocked, then you're instantly able to teleport regardless of you unlocking that location. This shaves, at least for me and my loading times, about a minute to a minute and a half off of every single Nightmare Dungeon, which is pretty nuts, um, just being able to instantly teleport. This is already a massive XP increase, and already with just that time, uh, in normal dungeons, if you're farming with a group, you're able to get about 20 million XP per hour at maximum. This is like maximum if you're very, very efficient, everyone can run their lanes. On average, you could expect about 16, 17 million, okay? If solo, if you're resetting normal dungeons, well, not only do you have to do the normal dungeons and do them yourself, but you also have to reset, which means leaving the game, rejoining the game. It was 12 million at most per hour, which is pretty low, okay? That was extremely low compared to what we were able to get before, before all the nerfs, which was about 30 million as a group and about 20 to 25 million as a solo player before they nerfed all the elite densities and all that stuff, okay? Now, when you're doing these dungeons, you can expect, well, most of the XP to come from the monsters still. This has not changed from before. Before it was still mostly from the monsters, but they claimed that they were going to mainly change the ending and ending rewards so that you don't have to just reset dungeons. And that's what we thought they were going to do. But in fact, what they've done is actually go ahead and increase the amount of XP that you're getting from the monster kills as well. And it's about a 35 to 40% increase overall from what I've noticed. Um, in some dungeons, it could be upwards of an 80% because of the monster density, okay? And I will be trying to give you guys an updated version on the best places to farm uh, post buffs, but that's going to take some more testing. You know, running one dungeon isn't really going to give you a good answer, um, and that's kind of what I've basically done. I've run like one dungeon of every single type. Also, you still want to keep your levels about three um, ahead of what your main level is, so that's your level. Minus 54 plus 3 will give you the total amount of, you know, XP you get or the max amount of XP you get from the Nightmare Dungeons because that'll be three levels ahead. Okay, so it's pretty important. Now, what I've also noticed is even though the XP from completing the dungeon isn't a ton, it's still a nice chunk about 150, 200k, which is a pretty big chunk and you don't definitely don't want to miss it. So it's definitely worth completing Resetting Nightmare Dungeons, as I've already said in the past, is still something that um, is not necessarily the best because it's not sustainable to go ahead and do go and, and reset a Nightmare Dungeons like halfway through because you're not going to get the same Nightmare Dungeon again. And that means that the XP rate is going to be pretty bad, despite the fact that, well, you don't get a big chunk of XP at the end. So you should still finish them. That hasn't changed. And the XP rates, as I mentioned, are going to be that massive 30 to 40% increase um, on the monster kills, which ends up being potentially a couple million XP per Nightmare Dungeon. And I'll show you all some data from some people that are putting out some data here in just a moment after I skip ahead and show you the completion XP. So fighting the boss here, I want to showcase kind of what the XP looks like at the very, very end of the dungeon. Uh, it's usually a pretty substantial amount. Um, and as you can see here, we got 162,000 XP for a tier 32. Now, those 
or that number does increase as you increase your nightmare dungeon level um but overall you know getting 162,000 experience is definitely not something to just completely ignore that is a significant amount of xp even though it's not a huge amount in the grand scheme of the dungeon you know taking let's say a minor xp hit to finish it while also getting that big xp bonus at the end ends up roughly about breaking even to give you you slightly more xp than you would have otherwise and in this dungeon in particular i started this about 5.8 million um so i got about 1.15 million just from the totality of this dungeon which took about five minutes um to run and of course i can you know do that a little bit faster if i was you know not recording and not paying attention to this um to about five six minutes so you know let's say i were able to do about 10 of those in an hour well now you can see i'm getting about one point you know let's say what is that 1.11 million 1.1 million times 10 is about 11 billion right so about 11 million xp per hour in nightmare dungeons uh, and that's with me not paying attention i've easily been able to get about 20 million xp per hour on some faster classes um and also making sure that i'm only three levels above because this was a tier 32 there's a lot of things that you have to consider and of course this is not a good dungeon to run necessarily and just to show you all what i mean by that i'll pull up some people's data here um this is kind of what someone else has been able to kind of keep track of so far and you can see there's a few in here that are better but in this top area it is uh, pre-buff and then after that is post buff and you can see pre-buff you can roughly average around 7.3 million and then post buff is about 14 million now keep in mind this is like peak xp running and this is only if you're purely focusing on xp and also the times on these dungeons you can see some of them are like 4.42 minutes some of them are like 8 10 another 10 minute some of these are pretty long. This was an Ice Shards Sorcerer, um, and I'll leave a link to this post down below, by the way, but you could definitely run these a little bit faster. In fact, my Necromancer can run it a little bit faster. Um, again, you just have to be focusing, making sure you're doing the right tier at least three levels above. So again, on the high end, you could expect 22 million per hour solo, and that is with my Rogue. Keep in mind, that's with my Rogue because I was able to move quickly through it. On my Necromancer, I've been able to get about 16 to 17 million per hour, which is still very, very good compared to what I was getting previously. If you're in a group, is it still worth to run uh, normal dungeons? I would say at this point, the difference in XP is pretty similar. Um, there's still potentially gonna be a little bit increasing in XP if you go for a group farm and you're actually having a dedicated three player group in Champions Demise or whatever, it's still gonna be slightly better but you're not going to get nearly as high quality loot and you're not going to get nearly as upgraded your glyphs so it's definitely worth it to run nightmare dungeons and uh, the xp is still very very good and if you're a solo player well there's literally no other better option than running nightmare dungeons so i'll come out with a kind of updated list on what my favorite nightmare dungeons are to run for the best xp per hour and of course giving you all uh, my thoughts on all the different xp rates and such things like that on my necromancer because that's what i'll be running over the next couple days hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about the changes and i'll see you all for the next one